Okay, uh, I'm really glad that you all came to this museum. This is something that uh, really should be seen while uh, traveling through Croatia. Uh, first of all, this is the only museum in the world that is dedicated to only one basketball player. So there, there is nothing similar to this anywhere else in the world. Uh, the reason is that Drajan for us is pretty unique. Uh, he, he is very special. Uh, all of the trophies that you can see in these two sections and actually in the whole museum, they're all uh, his individual trophies. We do not hold any team trophies over here uh, because team trophies are, of course are held in uh, team trophy rooms. This is the picture from his first NBA club. Now, uh, as a member of Yugoslavia national team, he was champion of the Europe here in Zagreb in 1989. This is the right golden medal that you can see in this section. And the left one is from Argentina 1990 from the World Championships. So, uh, in those two consecutive years he was both European and World Champion and he was also captain of Yugoslav national team. Uh, later on when he joined Croatia, uh, anyways, I'm sorry, not, not later on, but these three medals that we have down here, they're Olympic medals. Uh, his first Olympic medal was won in 1984 in Los Angeles, this is the bronze medal. We have a silver medal from Seoul, 88, and then finally the silver medal from Barcelona. Only given out from different newspapers, but they actually, they're all for the same thing, for the best athlete or best basketball player of uh, Yugoslavia. And then uh, at the very end of the museum, we have the only two items that are related to the tragic accident that happened. Uh, we have this book of condolences and uh, next to it we have the golden watch. Uh, book of condolences is very important. Those kind of books, they were all around the world when he died. Uh, but oh, yeah, first of all, I did not uh, get the chance to tell you how he died. Died in, maybe if you don't know, he died in a tragic car accident on the German highway. It was in uh, 1993 and uh, he was uh, 28 years of, of age when it happened. So, yeah.